There's many Nigerians have begun drafting out plans for the new year, including resolutions. Plus, TV Africa speaks to a life coach and a cross-session of Nigerians on the phenomenon of New Year resolutions. A year ago, Nigerians were enthusiastic about the start of a new decade and a new year 2020. But the coronavirus pandemic crushed the hopes and halted the plans of millions of people worldwide. As a new year beckons, Nigerians reflect on the past year with a mixed bag of feelings about the culture of making New Year resolutions. New Year resolutions are important. Whether you follow them through is another thing. But very important is that we just have to plan. So many people follow it through, people that are consistent. You know, it's not everybody that can manage to be consistent all through the year and beyond. Discipline consistency is very important, but does it have to come in the new year? Like we've all, we've all, we've all, in everything we are doing, we usually do need that um, consistency and discipline in everything we are doing. So do you, being a new year, fine, it's a new year, but I think it should be an habit even before a new year. Performance coach Abiola Salami argues that the bone of contention is not in making resolutions, but in resolving to make them work. The thing with New Year resolution is that a lot of people pay lip service to it. And if you really want to change, if you really want a transformation, right, um, it's about really scheduling that change that you want. Um, experts will tell us about goal setting, um, simple, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. What we should do is do the work, not just uh, resolution, set measurable goals and commit to achieving those goals of renewing yourself. A cross-session of Nigerians agree with him. Prior to this time, I hardly make um, resolutions because I feel like when it comes to discipline, I wasn't so disciplined enough. So I didn't want to be frustrated at the end of the year when I look back and see that, okay, I haven't done or achieved anything yet. But for the coming year, and because I'm getting older and I've experienced more in life, I just feel that there's a need to make plans and then keep to your goals. So people can say, okay, this year I want to stop um, having bad friends, I want to stop smoking, I want to stop doing this. At the end of the day, they find themselves still doing the same thing. So I don't feel it's in, there's any need. Just, if you know you have a goal, then follow that goal. For me, I don't have new resolutions. I just sit down, write down things and I plan on doing next year. So I'll say that is like a goal for me. New Year resolutions are actually important if you actually um, you are disciplined enough to keep to it. Like, so because most people tend to make New Year resolutions and after the first one month or two months, they don't keep to it. So I feel if you're not ready to keep to that um, New Year re the resolution that you actually um, planned out, then there's no need for you to have it because you have to keep through it until the end of the year. Here's what's on the mind of some Nigerian youth to achieve in the new year. More money, we want to make more money. Before now, I wasn't really a business person, but I'm thinking of business this coming year and also self-development. Next year, I would want to focus more on my business. I sell perfumes, so I would want to expand because I like to try out new things when it comes to fragrances. So I would want to expand more, try out new things and see how it um, works out. Then, of course, um, Add weight. My new year resolution is to be more consistent in anything I'm doing. Many lost loved ones and opportunities in 2020. But the advice here is that for 2021, hope must be kept alive.